good afternoon everybody it is saturday one o'clock i had to double check that but it is hope everybody is doing good um i wanted to hop on and do makeup real quick but i also wanted to hey mary i wanted to explain my terrible wording this morning that evidently caused some stirring up um so i posted that i was uh shutting down one of my ig pages so I have like my regular Instagram page and then I have one that I do like food and recipes on. It's um, healthy, quick, and easy. So just to make things more streamlined, I had my sound off, so I don't know if y'all can hear me or not. Um, anyways, so to get everything more streamlined, I went ahead and uh, am shutting down my healthy, quick, and easy page and just doing it all on my regular Instagram page over there. Facebook's going to stay the same, so nothing change, is changing over here. I was just sharing that information, and it just, like, got way out of control. I tried to post while I was drinking coffee, and that just did not go as planned. So, hey, Cindy. Um, all right, so now that we've got that cleared up, I'm on Facebook, staying on Facebook, still going to have um, my beauty page here on Facebook, and then I'll just have my one beauty page over on Instagram. I won't have my healthy quick and easy they're just going to be together so we can do everything on one makeup beauty food life hey papa um everything so that's what that was all about so let's get started i've got the setting spray and we are gonna also use it as um, the primer so i'm just gonna squirt and just kind of tap hey elizabeth and just gonna let it just kind of set in and dry. Hey, Casey. Um, all right, so I have got everything. Oh, look at all my lights over there. I've got a ton of lights. Okay, so don't blind you. There's all my colors. That's what we're gonna use today. So my main color I'm gonna use is white peach. And then I'm gonna do my brightener with moonlit. Hey, Bobby. Um, I'm gonna contour with shadow. And then I put two lips and cheeks in here, and they're just like my two favorites right now. Hey, Larissa! Um, so I've got sandstone, and I have got ruby. Um, so sandstone is more of like a matte, if not, hey, um, just like a little bit of sheen. Hey, Bobby. And then this ruby is like a super gloss, so it's real thin and see-through. And then I've got my dusting powder. I have the Cayman bronzer. I'm waiting on the Bella to come. Yes, Casey, I've got Photoshop. And then I've got my lip conditioner. Mine too. Until I get some new colors and then I'm sure I'll have a million more favorites. Um, so anyways, this is everything you need um, in, in one compact. Obviously, I have, you know, more colors. I took them out and I'm, you know, whatever. But Grab a go, grab you a brush, and you're done. All right, so I am gonna grab the buff brush. See how it's kind of angled, but it's really dense. And the same on the other side, but it's a little bit smaller. I am going to start with this shadow, and I'm gonna do the smaller end. Okay. I know, I think, I can't remember if I put royal on my last order or not. All right, so you're gonna find that cheekbone, okay? And we, we wanna put it like right on top of that cheekbone because we want the shadows, you know, contours where you want the shadows, but we wanna make sure we're like pulling our face up and back. Look, I made my face red by touching that. Don't touch your face. All right, but we're gonna about to cover that up. All right, so we're gonna do shadow and you don't wanna go past like the half part of where your eyeball is, okay? And we're gonna, I'm gonna go slow, or try to go slow. I seem to have a speed up button on me. Um, and kind of talk it through it, and sorry for all the ums, likes, ums, ums, whatever. Anyways, all right, let's go to this side. So even though it's a contour color, we're still gonna get full coverage, okay? If you've watched me or the past couple of videos, I'm usually doing different colors. Well, why are you doing different colors? Just to show you pretty much that these can be blended and are easy to use 
and forgiving and all that kind of fun stuff. There's multiple colors that can be used for the same skin. So if I wanted to be brighter, darker, deeper contour, whatever, um, but I can make them all work, which, well, not all of them, but you know what I'm saying. Um, all right, let's go up here. If you remember from previously, we want to kind of do like a three or an E, whichever way you're looking at me. And that's just an easy way to remember it. It's just kind of like a, a cheat saying, if that means anything. Oh, y'all hop on. When you hop on, y'all say hi. Tell me what's going on. If you are in Helena, Alabama, I just got an alert that we are under a wind advisory. So hold on to your hats if you go outside. If you're outside for soccer games or baseball or whatever, I hope you have a jacket because it is about to get windy. Um, and if not, offer to go for the coffee run and go grab you a blanket. Hey, Mama. Um, all right, so let's finish this part. I'm going to, hey, Rachel. I'm going to calm down on my jawline. But look, I mean, a normal person wouldn't call that contouring. That's why I love this. Like, I don't have to fuss over this. Hey, Sarah. And may I say, Sarah, you looked fabulous. I saw you the other day. I need to get myself back in those hip workouts. All right. <laughs> well, Becky, hop on. We can do this together. Grab it. Can we? Yes, you can call me Stacey Span. He may not like that, but I like it. Hey, Molly. Becky, go grab your makeup. Let's do this together. And if not, we, I'll FaceTime you. We can do it. Anyways, okay. We're just kind of coloring. I'm going to turn it. And I am going, let me set this down. I'm going to put contour right here on the tip. Oh, Rachel, I didn't finish my sentence. Hey, Marla. Good. Go get it. I'll wait for you. I'm just a blab in my mouth. Um, so, Rachel, that's the good thing I love about this. Like, I had a crack in my hip. Sorry. Ugh, I have to stand up. Anyways, you can get the benefits of the highlight and contour and not have to know what in the heck you're doing. Right? Okay. Back to the tip. Let's just sketch down the side of our nose. Becky, let me know when you come back, too. So, Becky um, got the four main colors that we color matched her with. And I'll give you my little spiel real quick. Sorry, I wasn't getting any on the edge. So, lots of people want to know, can you do a makeover on me? Perfect. Well, you get all set up. I'm going to tell them... Um, kind of what I told you. So, can you do a makeover on me? In a normal world, yes. In a COVID world, I'm sorry, I'm not going to. The good part about this makeup is it's super duper affordable. There is a 30 day money back guarantee, but I'm gonna guarantee that you're probably gonna fall in love with it and that that's not even gonna be an issue. But if it is, it is what it is and we fix it. But what we do is we color match you. I give you the four colors the main, the brightener, the contour, and the lip and cheek. We order them, we order your brush, send it to your house. Then you can be like Becky and catch me on live and we can do it together or I can FaceTime you and we step-by-step -step do it together. And that's when we can make changes, make suggestions, you know, one-on-one -on -one kind of help without actually being in each other's space. So it really works out well and I've done it and it works great. It sounds silly, but it works. So what else? All right, so we have contoured everywhere we kind of want. Hey, Pat, all right, we've got it up here on our cheekbones. We've got it around. We've got it on our jawline. Hey, Tracy. Okay, so now I am going to go with my main color, which I'm gonna use white peach, okay? I'm going to go with the little bigger side of that brush. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to stay with that small side. Well, that's a good thing. I can change my mind whenever I want. I am. Okay. I'm going into the white peach. 
Oh, that is so exciting. I haven't ordered those. I mean, I've got this. The Jack in the Box, I'm gonna call them. I love this brush, I do too. I call this Jack in the Box because it scared the heck out of me when I figured out how it actually worked. We'll go over that one time. Anyways, I do too. So this is more of a full coverage brush and um, the blush, brush, brush, blush, <laughs> bronzer blush brush will give a more um, like air, Somebody help me with those words. Air finish. Um, and I struggle with that one for some reason. I feel like I have more control with this brush. Um, so I, I put on blend and then I might go back with the fluffy guy. We'll just call him that because that's easier to say. With the fluffy guy to give it airbrushed finish. There we go. I knew it would come to me. All right. White peach. So the white peach is the main. And we're going to go over our big areas. So that would be here. In between the two contours. Okay, we're gonna do our chin. We're gonna come over here. I had a lot on my brush, so I'm not re-dipping, okay? And then we're gonna go on the side of the nose, underneath where I did that little contour line. On my little tip of the nose. Under my lip. And I'm actually gonna do a little bit there. I still have not re-dipped, okay? You can. I just accidentally dip, put too much, but you know, what else? All right, and we're gonna just, we're gonna make a little, look, we got a little rainbow going, okay? I am gonna, I do like to do it on my lids because I have, I don't know if you can see, veiny lids. Y'all make sure you share this for me and Hop on, and if you catch it on the replay, just say hashtag replay. Okay, but look, we never read up till we got our whole face done. I'm going to do one little dot, and I'm just going to do a little down. I have hair on me. A little down right there. Okay. How you coming, Becky? Are you with me? Okay. Still sticking with the small side, and I am gonna take this moonlit, okay? So that is my brightening color that I'm using today. So I wanna put it on the spots that I want bright. So it would mainly be your T-zone. Yes, okay, I think perfect. Stop me if you have any questions. All right, so your brightening is gonna go like in your T-zone. That's like where the light, sunlight, whatever light you're in is gonna hit. So, Let's go down straight first, that's easiest. So let's do our little tulip. I think we got three little things. Boop, boop, boop. Looks like we've got our three little petals. I do try and be super light with this, so I did do one little dot in between. All right, we're gonna go straight down our nose. We're still going down. Remember, still going down our line. You can do right there on your cupid's bow, or you can do right there on your chin, okay? So now let's go across. I'm still in my brightening color. All right, remember this, this right here is super sensitive skin. You don't wanna stretch it. Hey, Brandy, you don't wanna stretch it. You don't wanna push on it. Um, I mean, you are a little bit, you know what I'm saying, but don't try and be very, 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 very light with it. All right, so we are gonna go in. I'm gonna look up while I do it. I go in. And I am just literally, I'll draw an outline for you. You see how I drew like a triangle? I am just going to lightly fill that in. And if you feel more comfortable kind of dotting, you can do that. That will, um, dotting is what I'm calling it. I don't know. If you dot it like that, you are going to get a little bit more coverage than if you were to actually draw. Um... I'm doing it just with one brush, but I have found that I really do like this detail brush for that little area. It's almost like a triangular shape brush. And I'm still waiting on my um, eye brushes. That's why we're not doing eye makeup yet. But I have seen where you can like, you know, touch up your eye stuff too. So this, this guy I think is gonna be fun too. All right, 
I lost track of what I was doing. Back to white peach. And then we always want to kind of go right up here on the out, like outer underneath part of your brow, okay? So we did our three petals down the nose, Cupid's bow, chin, under eye, triangle, okay? We good? All right, so now I'm gonna flip it. Oh, it looks so crazy, that's so funny. Love my eye brushes, I can't wait to get them. All right, so I'm gonna take the same buff brush, but I'm gonna use this bigger side. Hey, Heather! All right, and we are gonna start buffing. We're gonna start with the lighter colors, and then we'll, like, kind of from the in out, pretty much. All right, so let's just start. And it's all gonna blend together and it's gonna give us the exact highlight and contour magic that everybody wants, but not everybody wants to work for, which is one of the many beauties of this stuff. It is an all cream makeup, which means it's not going to settle into your lines. It's not going to dry out your skin. And because it's cream, it's movable, okay? It also works with the heat of your skin. And after I get completely done, I usually wait about five to 10 minutes before taking a final picture, which gives me time to upload the videos and stuff. But um, it like melts into your skin and your body heat and it adjusts and it just does this magical thing and just this fabulous. But until you try it, you're like, what in the world is she talking about? I get it, I get it, no worries. All right, so this contour, I'm just gonna kind of buff it into my hairline. Okay. So when I get the um, eyeshadow brushes, not only will we do eyeshadows, but we'll be able to work with our brows too. I have to cheat because I can't see in the phone. I have to use this little mirror in my hand. So I'm just gonna make sure it's all blended down my neck. Oh, I forgot to do that aspen. That's why I had that little redness right there. That's okay. Just bop it right there. Oh, hey, Cindy. I heard y'all had a competition today. If you hadn't, if they hadn't danced yet, I hope, like, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. I hope they did fabulous today. Okay. So, I think now I'm going to swap over to Mr. Fluff. And I'm going to take the little smaller guy and just, actually, I'll I'm going to take a little, the fatter, fluffier guy and just do a good sweeping all around to make sure everything's blended. Especially my chin. I love the buff brush, except for um, sometimes my wrist doesn't like it when I'm doing under. Hey, Lauren, when I'm doing it under my chin. So this, I can just like totally fluff it and it's fine. Okay, voila. So now let's, I'm gonna show you this. So what if you're like, yo, I want a little bit of deepness going on right there. I just want it to pop a little bit. So I'm gonna take my, my detail brush and I'm gonna dip it in the bronzer. And I'm just gonna go back up. Right? It's amazing. Like, until you try it, it just, you're like, okay. But it does. All right, do you have the blush color that you want to use, Becky? You see that? All right, so I'm going to take this sandstone. I am going to take my finger. You smile. Those are like the apples of your cheeks. And they said to kind of go like right above it. Okay. And I'll go back to my little... Okay, so I just do a couple little a couple little finger taps. And obviously, 
it's gonna take a couple of times to figure out what you want. I mean, how many times have I done this? I'm still figuring it out. I mean, probably not even, you know, 10 on video yet. But the fastness and the ease and the results are just mind boggling. And may I say, I'm running late as usual. I grabbed this baby right here that has everything in it for one face and I run out the door. Hello. All right. We blended that. So now let's take, I'm gonna go with, since I'm not doing any eye makeup, I'm gonna take the vanilla dusting powder. So this is the other end of the detail brush. And I am just putting it in the dusting powder. And I'm just gonna lightly brush it over my eyes. So what is this dusting powder, okay? I didn't really know. I thought it was kind of like a setting powder, but it is, but it's not like a normal setting powder that you would use. Like you're not going to get a matte, you're not going to get a matte face. Okay. Um, but that's okay. Like this looks so much better with that little glow. Okay. You want to put it over the parts of your face that you want to make sure don't crease. I haven't had problems with creasing, but she, Hey Ashley, but you definitely don't want your eye makeup to crease and you definitely don't want it to crease under here. So if you put it anywhere, definitely put it those two places, okay? I usually take the big fluffy guy and put it all over anyways. Because I can't really see it, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have magic that it's not doing. So I just let it do its magic, all right? So I'm gonna take that big fluffy side and dip it in the vanilla dusting powder. And like I said, it's not, when you're first starting out, I don't like, I mean, they're great price, they're like $14. But um, if you're only gonna get like four or whatever, I say the main four colors and not the dusting powder, that's something you can always add, like throw in later. All right. So let's do our lips. I'm gonna take that lip conditioner, which is chapstick. Hey, Jeff. That lip conditioner, it looks pink. It's not. It's gonna go, I mean, it, it may have a little bit of pink, but it doesn't go pink on me. It's just like chapstick, okay? You know I love a sparkle. So I'm gonna take that Photoshop, which is labeled as an illuminizer, illuminator, whatever. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, we're sparkly, right? So let's go into Ruby. Ruby is a super gloss. Beautiful color though, okay? So we're gonna put it on top. So that's what I have on now, and that's what I'm put on top of it. All right, so a tad too pink for me, but that's okay. We're gonna go into the sandstone and just add a tad of red. Yes. There we go. Perfect. Hold on, I got a little lipstick on my, off of my lip. Cool, huh? Okay, so now let's go ahead and take the Photoshop as it actually is used. Make sure I have my... So I'm going to spray... Hey, Paige! I'm going to spray the um, brush cleaner on that finger right there because I want to use it again and I don't want to put Ruby on my... <laughs> on my illuminator parts. All right, so I'm just going to take my ring finger, dab it in that Photoshop, and we're gonna go right. You're not really gonna see it until I turn to the light, okay? We're gonna get right under our brow, right there on the highest part of our cheekbone. Some people like to do it up here. I'm not doing anything crazy today. So, I mean, <laughs> that sounds silly. You know what I mean? I don't want to be like total glammed out, but if you see when I move, 
I don't know where the light's gonna hit me. You see how it lights up right there? Oh! Kind of like a little ombre, like that. Yay, May. <laughs> Yay! That's so fun. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do, so I gotta hop for a second, is I am gonna take our perfector sponge. Well, you didn't tell me that part. Now we we sparkly over with us. Okay. All right, we're gonna take the setting spray. We're gonna spray it on our perfector. Squeeze it just a little bit. And we're just gonna dab all over just to make sure that we are all blended in. And you're getting the, not just, oh yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, that we're all blended together and there's no big hunks of makeup that I may have missed. And you're setting while you're doing it because you sprayed the setting spray on here. But look, look how much it picked up. So obviously I was a little heavy with my hand today, which is fine. That's why we practice. So down a little bit. And y'all, we can go. We are ready to go. Was that not amazing? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. So let's get you matched. You don't need all these. We'll just do four. One, two, three, four. So a main, a brightener, a contour, a lip and cheek. Well, I lied. We'll probably do an illuminator too. But, um, and get you a brush and let's do this. This is so, so easy, so quick, and you get a fabulous result. Um, if y'all have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm here. Becky, you're gonna have to send me a picture. Did it turn out okay? Do you have any questions? We'll see if she responds. I know we at least made it to the final face and she was very excited, so that's good. All right, y'all have a great weekend. Stay safe, watch out for the wind, buckle anything down that you have. Yes, it really is, Rachel, it's so cool. All right, and um, ah, yay! I'm so glad I got to hear from you back. That is so awesome. Perfect. All right, guys. Thanks so much. I'm gonna thank you for being brave with me doing life. Oh, you're so welcome. Well, <laughs> I had to get on and clear up that mess I did this morning. I, I had people thinking I was getting off Facebook. Thank you so much, Rachel. Um, Y'all take care. Let me know if I can help. I would love, I know you, I, I knew you could do it. I knew everybody can do this. Like it is, it is like 99.9% .9 fail proof. Unless you just like literally put it on your face and don't blend it at all. Everybody can conquer this. Seriously. And it's affordable. And the tins last forever. Not really. But, you know, six months-ish. So, and then, like, eyeshadows last longer because you're, or I'm not using them every day. Um, that's such good news. All right, guys. Feel free to share. Let me know if I can help. And I'll see you soon. Bye.